Namaste everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am here for a short tutorial about how to do Siddhasana. Since I uploaded a video on my channel that how to do Padmasana step by step and I have been receiving a lot of comments that can you teach us how to do Siddhasana. And Siddhasana is another meditative pose which is highly recommended in yoga texts in traditions. But Siddhasana, I can say it is more challenging to do than Padmasana. It looks easy, but actually it's not easy. But today I will try to simplify it and I will try to tell you how you can achieve it step by step. Not necessary, I can show you complete today. But if you practice these practices, you will achieve Siddhasana step by step in coming times. So, Siddhasana, it will be impossible to do for you if your knees do not go down like this. If you are sitting like this, for example, and your knees stay like this, it will be impossible to achieve Siddhasana. And same time, your knees should go back. So, for example, if your knees not going back, then again you will see it will be impossible to do it. So, it needs very good flexibility on your hips and your adductor muscles. So, if these two things you do not have, you will see Siddhasana is not easy for you. You need a lot of time to practice. So, all the practices you need for hip opening and take the knees down easily, you need to practice all those practices whatever I have recommended in my Padmasana video. And if you do not find that video, I will put the link of that video in description and you can have a look and you can go and repeat all those movements to achieve Padmasana, they will be helpful to do Siddhasana also. So, Siddhasana as I said is more challenging to do than doing Padmasana. I am saying it is for me, Padmasana comparatively is much easier for me than doing the Siddhasana. So, my preferred asana to sit for pranayama or meditation either Padmasana or I do the Swastikasana this. So, if you are doing Swastikasana and your knees do not go this much down, you will see Siddhasana will not come easy. So, you will see Swastikasana is the I can say preparatory practice for doing Siddhasana. So, if you can do slowly, slowly, slowly practice Swastikasana, you will see you can do the Siddhasana. So, I will tell you what kind of practices you can do apart from what practices I have recommended in my Padmasana videos. So, if you can do those and in addition you can do other practices uh, what I am going to do now and you will see your Siddhasana will become easier. So, without taking much time. So, first thing you need to practice is that putting one leg in and other leg out like this. Do you see the position of it? And if your leg sister like this, you see my one heel is here, one other heel is here, means your knees coming forward. And in Siddhasana what you need to do? Knees need to take back. To take back the knees, you whenever you sit like this, you need to just center the heels. So, heel, the heel which is close to the body, you need to put in center of the body or you can say perineum point and other one in same line here. If you cannot do this, you can crisscross little bit that is ok. Then in this position what you have to do? You need to go forward. Yeah. So, this will be the practice to do regular to achieve the Siddhasana. So, whenever you putting the leg like this, one is in middle of the body, other in just front of it and if you cannot little bit crisscross is ok, otherwise you just place one foot back and forth and try to go forward. And when you go forward, make sure you do not lift your hips off the floor. So, your hips should be heavy on the mat and you just go forward. Even if this much you can go, this is fine. And you can just breathe here as many as you can and feel that your hips are opening and you are going forward same time. So, you can do this position, you can put even the elbows down and stay like as long as you can and more longer you stay more deep muscles uh, will stretch to achieve that your knees are going down and knees are going back. These are the most two things are most important that your knees should go down to the floor and knees should go back also. So, this is the best thing you can do 
to go forward and stay here and you can just practice breathing here breathing in and breathing out to go more further without lifting the hips make sure your hips are nice heavy on the mat and just take the body forward forward so you need to feel your adductor muscles are stretching and your knees settling down on the mat just be here as long as you can and once you finish this you need to do other side also now you put other leg in and the leg was close to the body you take it out so same you can arrange the back heel in center of the body near to perineum other one is in front in same line or maybe little bit crisscross and then you need to do this side also same so keep the hips heavy and go forward once again to see how much you can go if you can go this much you just stay here and keep breathing to go forward but make sure your hips are heavy if hips are not heavy then you will see it is not good for siddhasana practice because we need to keep the weight to the hips and the legs only so go forward again you can put the elbows down and just be here and keep lengthening the spine and go forward as long as you can and then you can come back so this is the first practice you can do to take the knees back and down then other practice you can do is the baddha konasana or you can say butterfly yeah so once you join the feet you can put the hands here and try to move the hips close to the feet as much as you can and keep the, the back straight and allow the knees to go down as much as you can and you will see my knees even not going all the way down but just see how much you can go so keep the support of the hands at the back feet nice firm and keep the back straight and stay here keep the hips heavy going down and allow the knees to open back side and taking down and if you feel that you can go more just give lift to the hips and move more close and more close so you will see this is another practice you can do to open your inner thighs open the hip joints and same time allowing the knees to go down so this is another one you can do not necessary you need to go forward but just keep the hands at the back nice support your chest should be lifted but hips is still heavy going down and feet joining together and whenever you think i can go move little bit further move the hips more front so like your hip your heels almost going to touch the perineum area of the body so this is another thing you can do and this will help you to stretch your adductor muscles inner thighs and take your knees down and the back to do siddhasana properly okay so this thing other we can do then you can move back and then now in the beginning you will see to do the siddhasana it will not be easy so you can use a towel like this fold it nicely this much thick and then you can try to sit on the towel a lot of people actually recommend so first you need to sit in lot of people say it it is ardha siddhasana so keep the one heel to perineum and other heel just in front and keep the back straight and sit like this make sure your knees down and if your knees don't go down so if you feel you are like this and you are falling forward or falling backward then you will see that you need the towel okay so what i can say that you can put the towel here and put the hips on this towel sit little bit higher then you can place one heel to your perineum and other heel in front and then try to sit straight you will see it will become much comfortable so if you want to achieve the siddhasana first try to sit like this and you will see your knees will go naturally down when you sit higher on the folded towel or blanket and then you can just close your eyes do your pranayama do your meditation in this posture and this one people say it's a ardha siddhasana and once you think this is comfortable for me you can do other way around so then you can put other heel in touching the perineum and other one in front and again allow the knees to go down make the back straight sit here also and do so one day you 
practice by keeping one heel in other one out and next day you can reverse them so that is the way you can practice it and slowly you will achieve the stretch of these muscles inner thighs and allow the knees to go down and once you can practice longer and longer with this you will get more flexibility for your pelvic area for your hips and then later on siddhasana will become easier so now if you think you are already open and you don't need the towel but still siddhasana i will recommend you if you are trying first time then make the towel thinner so i will folding thicker before now you can make more thin and then put back again then sit with the thinner towel then you will see siddhasana for beginners actually becomes easier so proper process is that put the one heel actually sometime they say right or left so i will not go for that kind of technicality that which heel you should put first or which one to last you can do both side not a problem whichever side feels easy for you everybody has different flexibility so some day maybe you can try other side first putting down and other side on top and other day you can do other way around so that is the way you can do it i am just telling you for the beginner so put the heel touching to the perineum so not putting too much weight on it yeah so not like you are pushing and pressing very hard perineum to the heel but just touching it and other heel you can bring close like this and then you can just place insert this side of the toes inside and other side of the toes here and this is your siddhasana so this is the way you can start so put one heel touching to the perineum not pressing too much but just touching to the perineum and other heel you can put on top and insert the toes between the calf and the thigh then other one is also almost it is between calf and thigh and knees will go down and you can sit in siddhasana so this is the easy way to do siddhasana and if you can do this side then next day maybe you can change then put this heel in touching to the perineum then other one you can just bring on top and insert your toes to the calf and the thigh and other one also you can arrange just in between and then you will see you can do other side also so always there will be that one side when you do it you will feel easier other side it will come with little bit challenge and i will always recommend if you are a beginner and you are trying to do the siddhasana try to keep something folded towel or blanket under your hips and you will see it makes easy for you and once you achieve the flexibility of the hip or flexibility of the inner thighs then you can remove the towel and you can sit without the towel so this is the easy way i can explain you so try to practice all the practices for flexibility of the knee and hip what i recommended in my padmasana video the link is in description and this few things you can add more in the practice and you will see your siddhasana will come easy and maybe later on in the video i will make you proper video of how to do the siddhasana and that will be more what hatha yog pradipika gheran samhita or tradition saying which heel should put first where to put it and other heel how to arrange it so if you have any question you just put in the comment that it was helpful for you or not and if you have any other things that you want to know about siddhasana write that one also and if you want another tutorial for some other asana i will explain you easy step by step so keep watching and if you have not subscribed please subscribe and if you think this video was helpful please share and give a like to it and i will see you in next video thank you very much and namaste take care